Okay, everybody, this is uh, Gormir here, and I'm going to give you a walkthrough on Carbonite Quest. Carbonite is a quest helper program that will give you the opportunity to set some waypoints and do some pretty neat things. First off, the uh, Carbonite console is this little thing up here in the top right corner. It says Carbonite Quest 2.01 and left click will toggle the map, right click for menu and shift drag will move it around. So holding shift will move the little thing around. Right clicking it will bring up the menu. Under the menu you can go to options and map and maximize carbonite map instead of normal map. If you close that, if you don't put a check mark there, when you hit your M key it'll just bring up the regular world map. However, I don't want to use that. I want to go ahead and keep that coming up, which will adjust things a little bit like so. Now, what we have here is the world map in this zone. If you go to the other zones, it'll bring up a small kind of side view of it. Also, with major cities, i.e. Uh, Dalaran or Ogremar, you can also get zoomed in really well. Down here, you have your zooms and favorites. You can zoom in, and you can zoom in a really 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 ridiculous quantity um, once you've zoomed into the map or brought up the map if you move your character a little bit it will uh, give you a little more focus on your character um, these little markers here are your quests to get these to show up you have this carbonite quest thing right here which is basically a list of all your quests and they all have these little bubbles next to them this green one right here will make them stop showing up on the map you want that green one to highlight if you're going to do a bunch of quests and you're just going to let it take care of it, the program has an auto track function which will automatically put a tracking section to the closest quest. Once you go to that quest, it will automatically, once completed, move to the next quest in line that is closest to you. So it'll start tracking the next closest quest. I uh, personally am not fond of this because I like to do it myself. Okay, another thing is the minimize button will bring it down to this little thing here. Also, while it's up, solo play, I don't use Omen, so I get that out of the way. Uh, when you have your map up, these little icons, you can right click them and go to track, and that will put a tracking marker on that quest itself. Close the map, and you have this little handy doodad here that tells you how far it is and what the quest is that you're doing. Unfortunately, Quest Helper would let you click this uh, little area here and bring up a quest, but no longer can you do that with Carbonite. It won't let you, so get over it. Just lost. Another thing about Carbonite is you can right-click at any time and clear the go-to, which will remove it. Or, say I want to set a marker for something that's right here that I want to go farm. Say there's Cobalt node over here that I'd like to go see. Click, right-click it, click go to and it'll set a waypoint there. Again, right click, clear go to, we'll remove it. Again, and we'll close the map. Sorry about that. Okay, so if you hit map again, if you hit map again, apologies about the kids, and hit the M key to bring up your map again, it'll show you all your quest objectives as well as the zones in which those will be available for drops. Those are the quests we all love to do the most. Also, it'll tell you question marks for turn-ins, even if they're in a dungeon, which Quest Helper doesn't do. It won't show you where to go inside the dungeon. This does integrate with Atlas and give you the ability to uh, check it out. If you hit Escape and then click the Carbonite thing, it'll close the mini-map. Mini-map's kind of handy. And again, you can zoom in on the mini-map a ridiculous quantity of times and zoom out. So that's Carbonite. If you have any questions or help with it, let me know. I'm also going to be making a video here shortly that will show you how to go about installing the Curse client or the WoW Matrix client and install add-ons, as well as check for updates on your add-ons, kind of maintenance for add-ons altogether. Again, apologies about the kids, and uh, thanks for watching.